Hey, everybody, this is Scott Carson, and I'm known across the country as the note guy. And for the last 20 years, I've been an active real estate investor, but in the last 15, I focus on primarily buying distressed assets, distressed notes, distressed uh, residential properties, distressed commercial properties. And one of the hottest asset classes right now is affordable housing. We know we need this more than anything else with the price of real estate going up across the, the country. More and more people are looking for great opportunities uh, for great cash flowing assets that are affordable to the first time home buyers or those that may not be as financially savvy or as financially stable as others out there. Now, what am I talking about? I'm talking about mobile home parks. I'm talking about RV parks. And one of these parks can be can turned into a tremendous amount of cash flow and a great deal for you. But unfortunately, the asset class is really segmented across the country with mom and pa borrowers out there. But you still, did you not, not, you may not know this, but there are still a tremendous amount of distressed opportunities available for you to tap into. And you may not know this, but they're right now, currently, there are over 200 plus distressed mobile home and RV parks across the country. Now, if I could show you a way to get a backstage pass or how to show you a cheat sheet code for you to tap into these 200 plus distressed mobile home parks without having to fight your competitors or be able to get to the front of the line, would that be valuable for you? Well, I think it would. Now, if I can show you how to find these distressed deals in just minutes, I think that would save a lot of time and a lot of money and energy on your part. We also ask you if you'd be interested in possibly being able to show you who the actual contact info is for the borrowers, the banks, the servicers, even the owners and the sponsors of these deals. Would that be valuable to you? What if I could actually share with you the conversations, the behind the scenes, the servicing notes, the financials of each deal? Would that be of value to you? Well, I know it would because I know it's valuable to me and many others out there. And what do I, what's my cheat code? What's my backstage pass? Well, I want to share with you a very special tool that we're using. It's a tool that you're going to want to pay attention for a few minutes, take some notes, and take an opportunity to be using this tool for your own real estate investment needs. And what tool is that? Well, I'm talking about Cred IQ. Now, these guys at Cred IQ have built a ton of street cred. These guys are an absolute amazing. Uh, 50,000 blow watt torch freaking tool that you'll want to use if you're a commercial real estate investor. Not if you're just in, interested in, in, in mobile home parks, but if you're in apartments or self-storage or hotels, whatever, if you have a commercial asset class you're excited about, this is a amazing tool you want to start using. And I'm excited to have Shane, um, Shane Beeson and Mike Haas from Cred IQ join us today to talk about how you can tap into those distressed uh, um, oh my God! I'm not mobile home, not mobile home. Yeah, self affordable housing parks out there. Storage parks there. So Shane, hey Mike, what's up, bud? How are you guys hey, doing today? Scott, thanks for having us. Glad to have you, man. You guys are kicking ass and taking names. So why don't you take a second here and share it a little bit how you guys got started and kind of where you pull your data from and, and why it's so valuable for those that are watching this video? Absolutely, appreciate it, Scott. Hey, I'm Shane Beeson, head of sales at Credit IQ. Uh, appreciate the time to to speak to your audience today. Um, I'm going to turn it over to Mike here in a second. He's one of our co-founders, and he's going to kind of get under the hood uh, and show you how you can use our database to search for distressed affordable housing, manufactured housing. Um, but before that, real quick, uh, Credit IQ overview. We are a commercial real estate data analytics and valuation platform. Uh, we launched a few years ago back in 2019. So we're still kind of a new kid on the block, but uh, we're getting a lot of traction uh, from clients using our database, uh, especially over the past you know, six, nine months. Um, so to kind of put the parameters around our world, we're tracking about 2.3, 2.4 trillion in commercial real estate debt around the country. Uh, that's going to be comprised of the entirety of the conduit CMBS universe. Uh, on the multifamily side, we're going to have all the agency debts. So Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, Freddie Mac, Small Balance, and Ginnie Mae. We're also tracking commercial real estate CLOs, as well as single borrower large loans. Uh, and we've made, you know, put it in a really one centralized location, easy to use, point and click, generate your search based off of appetite or property type, uh, geography, city, state, county, building size, loan size, loan status. You can generate your list. And then once you uh, do that, clicking on any property name, as Mike will show you, get down to the asset level and see the detailed line item financials, comps, contact information for the owner. Who do you call if you're interested in a property? And then finally, a really cool valuation tool uh, that Mike and, and our other partner, Bill, have, have worked on over the past uh, you know, decade or so. It really provides a ton of value to our clients that really you know, allow them to go in and change assumptions 
uh, and see how those changed assumptions update uh, in the, the property's value. So we'll show you that as well. Uh, so enough of that. Um, right now, we're going to turn it over to one of our co-founders, Mike Haas, uh, who will hop into our database and show you how to uh, generate searches for distressed uh, affordable housing. Mike, take it away. Hey, guys. Thanks, Shane. Thanks for that overview and intro. And uh, Scott, thanks for having us today. I appreciate it. Glad to have you, man. You guys are uh, got a lot of street cred out here. Can help a lot of investors out there looking for some deals out there. So uh, excited to have you on here talking today. Yeah, for sure. Um, so I'll just hop right into it. This is our uh, our homepage for Cred IQ. Um, and in order to run a search, you just come right up here in the upper right, hit browse, and this brings you to the main search area up here in the um, the top. Here you can search by about seven different parameters. So if you wanted to hone in on your property type, you click this button, you have all of your main food groups here, office, retail, multifamily, industrial, hotel, self-storage, mixed use, and manufactured housing, which is what we'll focus in on today. Hit apply. As you can see here, we have over 7,800, 78 pages of, wow. of data here. And each page has a hundred properties. You can click here for the list view. So about 7,800 properties we're tracking all across the United States with information that's updated every month. Real time, um, as a loan pays every month, we capture that data. And we'll, we'll show you uh, where that comes from and how it works. Um, so uh, the other filters you can do um, are location, zip, city, county, state, um, by keyword that includes the property name and the street name building size for manufactured housing. That would be the number of pads, not uh, square footage or anything. So you can see here, it usually ranges between 50 and 500. Mm -hmm. um, original balance, um, current balance of the loan, maturity date, which is a great opportunity to find properties that are coming due where a borrower needs to make that decision on refining or selling. Um, and then what's really important right now is finding those deals, finding those distressed assets. And because we get our information updated monthly, as soon as something becomes distressed, we get that information. Um, we have several buckets within distressed. We have distressed overall, we have the watch list so that when a loan becomes um, imminent on defaulting, it'll get, it'll usually get added as on uh, the servicer's watch list, meaning there's issues with occupancy, the financials, the DSCR dropped below a certain point. And then when it becomes significantly distressed, it gets transferred to the special servicer and that's where they really need to get worked out. Um, and then we have all the days delinquent, 30, 60, 90 for closure, REO, non-performing matured, performing matured, um, so if we just uh, hit apply here, we we now have three uh, three pages so over 300. Um, so even more than we last uh, we last went over this analysis, Scott. Um, we have 300 uh, distressed assets. So if we just um, look at this list view here, we can see all the details, high level view, year built, MSA, sub market, county, original, current balance, loan status. Uh, origination date, maturity date, a ton of information to the right here. So if we want to focus in on, say, Texas and say we like Florida as well, hit those two states, that'll bring us down to a more narrow uh, search result. You can click there. So if you just click into a property, um, brings you to the property page. Um, this one, Eco City MHC. This one is 190 pad. This one's in Dallas, East Dallas submarket, uh, built in 1960. This is what it looks like. Um, here's the loan. This the summary tab. Some loan loan terms, the market info, valuation, borrower, loan terms. Um, so you what you want to do is work your way across the top here to drill into any specific topic. Um, clicking into the loan tab, you have loan purpose interest rate, uh, interest only ex expiration date. So when it comes out of uh, IO period and starts paying principal and interest, um, amortization type, origination date, who the originator was. This is Bank of America. Mm -hmm. uh, maturity date, the borrower, 
the sponsor, master servicer, special servicer. We even have the prepayment terms and then the loan status, which is important for uh, hunting distressed. So this one, just quickly reading this one, the loan status is current, but it is indicated as distressed. Why? Because it was added to the servicer's watch list for outstanding advance ad advances in life safety concerns. It was, <laughs> it was added to the watch list in September of 2021. And here are all the updated comments from the servicers. So these are updated monthly when it's indicated that it's in distress. Um, you have information. This one is major deferred maintenance reported. So bad inspection. The borrower's not putting any uh, money into it. Um, not willing to advance. Um, here's the payment history behind this property. It is current in payment though. Clicking into the property tab, close up of the asset, um, location details, the valuation. This is the appraised value from an MAI appraiser um, that's used to issue the loan. So this one was 7.5 million, um, almost 40,000 a pad at 6.4 cap rate. Here's a, the asset status. So the deferred maintenance, um, you'll have updates there. This defeasance table, we have a partnership with Waterstone. Um, this pulls in real-time defeasance costs to prepay the property. We even have a date selector if you want to uh, fine tune that. Valuation, I'll hop into that at the end here. Um, clicking into financials, um, Scott uh, mentioned this earlier. Um, on the intro, this is a great, great tool to really hone in on what's behind the scenes. These are the borrower's operating statements for the property. These are the rents, the expenses, by line item, the occupancy. Um, and this can, this is what really determines what what's going on. Is the DSCR, DSCR healthy? What's going on with the property? This one, you have your your rent at nine hundred thousand. Um, dollars per pad, almost $5,000. You have your expenses, uh, you have your taxes, insurance, utilities, repairs and maintenance, management fees. Um, you have the full dollar amount, dollars per pad and percent of revenue. So even if a property is not you know, delinquent, it could be mismanaged, it could be an opportunity to raise rents. Um, you can see the management fees really high, you can lower that, there's a lot you can do there. Clicking into the summary level financial, same thing. You have your revenue, expenses, NOI. Quickly see the DSCR. Moving on to the comps tab. Um, this is a cool feature that pulls in all the surrounding properties um, behind the subject property that you're analyzing. It pulls in the 25 most comparable properties and provides you um, some details on that. And the system scores it zero to 10, 10 being the most comparable. So you can quickly benchmark your market. As you can see here, here's the range of appraised values for your comp set. Um, here's the average rents, the expenses per pad, NOI, occupancy. Hit this down arrow to find some summary level information. If you think this comp is uh, pretty good, you can click into it. And then you have even more information here. Here's loan tab, property tab, financials, comps. Same thing. Um, so moving on, moving along the top here, contacts tab. This is very special to Credit IQ. We have the borrower's name. Um, we have the entity name, the LLC. We have the LLC's address. We have the owner of record, which is the person who registered that LLC. We have their address. We have two emails and four phone numbers. Um, and then we have the bank's information too, the master servicer, and the special servicer. Um, and then going back to the valuation side, this is a pre-filled value, real-time valuation system with the user's ability to change about 20 to 30 key assumptions and arrive at a direct cap value and discounted cash flow value, um, DCF. So right now it's pulling in the most recent 12 month net cash flow of 630,000. It's using a market cap rate of 6.75, and it's calculating this $9.4 million value, 50,000, almost 50,000 a pad. Um, that's a simple direct cap. 
And then you have your DCF um, valuation here where you can, this is really handy when it comes to valuing distressed properties. If you want to adjust the current occupancy, um, adjust the weighted average effect of rents, you can change that right here, change that to say 650, I think it could be higher. That'll update up here. Um, you have your terminal cap rate, your DCF holding period. Um, these are all defaults. You can change anything in green. Um, the vacancy rate, we, we're modeling in a market vacancy of 5%. Your average lease term, renovation costs, renewal probability, free rent. And then down here at the very bottom, we have all of the operating expenses. Wow. <clears throat> so it pulls in the most recent 12 month statement and then it translates that over to the MyQ, and that's where you can edit any of these three columns. So if you want to change a management fee to 4%, you can do that in that column, percent of revenue. That'll update the value. And then we're fully transparent. Here's all the math behind all of your assumptions. Your projected occupancy, you can see here it's leveling out to a market vacancy or market occupancy of 95%. You have your base rents any parking and other income, collection loss, real estate taxes, insurance, all of the operating items to arrive at that net cash flow by year. And once you're happy with that, you can name, name it as a version, finalize it, and that will build a, a history for your own valuations. You can update it every quarter, every, uh, every year, whatever uh, is a part of your workflow. And once you finalize that value, it'll generate these valuation reports that we have on the back end that generates all the math behind it, that puts in a nice presentable document that I'll show you here in a second. Here's a quick four pager of your valuation cover page, the valuation summary. Here we have the value in the upper right, 13.57 million. Your subject info, loan information, your revenue assumptions, your expense assumptions, your investment variables, cap rate, discount rate, and the commentary from the servicer. Um, here's all the math behind it. Same thing as the, the, the interface here, all the, uh, all the calculations in a nice clean format. And then we have the comps report, which is in, uh, another four page report and a property. Won't get into that. Um, and then we have this other details, which is just a catch all huge table of even more data, about 150 to 200 data points um, that all um, helped in the underwriting of the, the original loan. Going back into uh, the summary here for the results page, as you see, there's a ton of opportunities out there. Mm -hmm. Just all about filtering and look, honing in on your market and seeing, uh, see if you can make a deal happen. Amen to that, man. That's opportunities are everywhere if you know where to look or how to find them, right? <laughs> That's right. You're the note guy. We're the data guys. That's right. There you go. Street cred all around on this one here for you guys. What's the uh, what's the best way, the no brainer way for folks that are watching this to get signed up with Credit IQ, man? Yeah. So I would uh, suggest coming up here in the upper right menu, hit subscription, and. Uh, we have a couple available options, but before you hop in whip out your credit card, we're offering a free seven day trial. If you go back here, I did the quickly hit the green button that pulls up this trial information screen, type in your work email, your company name and your name and hit submit and we'll get you activated right away. You'll have full access to the system. Start looking for deals. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's, deals in minutes and that's the beautiful thing guys what uh, so many people have struggled to find or how to get information i mean with distressed real estate it's often feels like you're sherlock holmes trying to put financials and numbers together well as you see on here guys uh the credit iq has taken the guesswork out of it and helping you find it and providing stuff direct from the servicing companies direct from uh, all the information coming from the borrowers out there and all the contact information you need. So guys and gals out there, if you're serious about uh, potentially buying a mobile home park or affordable storage or RV park out there, this is a great place for you to start to identify deals uh, way ahead of everybody else and in a, in a beat your competition to the punch. So uh, Shane, Mike, thank you so much for coming on here and sharing Credit IQ with us today. Awesome. Thank you, Scott.
Thanks a lot, Scott. Thank you. See you guys.